Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, uh, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And you can always click the notification bell so that if I have a new uploaded video, you will be notified immediately. Okay. Now, today, what I'm going to do uh, is to give you or uh, walk you through with one of my BMS graphics that I have prepared in one of the projects that I handled in Qatar, okay? Now, actually, this is a HVAC system, okay? Now, uh, specifically, this is a chilled water system for a uh, eight floor or eight story, five star hotel, okay? Now, actually, this chilled water system is composed of three basic components, okay? One is the chillers, okay? As you can see here, I have also uh, a navigation button here. Chillers, so as I said, three basic components, chillers, okay? So here, as you can see here, I have nine chillers, okay? So let me go to the full screen so that it will become a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's try to make it bigger, okay? Now, uh, here, so the first component of this uh, chilled water system, or I can call this as a chilled water system riser diagram, okay? Now, this chilled water riser diagram will give you a clear picture of the entire uh, HVAC system that is using chilled water supply. Okay, so what are these equipment that are uh, using chilled water supply? So we have here um, air handling units. Okay, so I have several types of air handling unit here. I have ERU, energy recovery unit, EFAU, treated fresh air handling unit. Then I have the ordinary AHU, these uh, recirculating AHUs. Okay, then I have here some FCUs. Okay, so I have some FCUs that are also using chilled water supply. Okay, then what else? Okay, okay, so FCU and air handling units. Okay, now as I said, there are three basic components chillers. Okay, I have here nine uh, chillers. Now these chillers are air cooled chillers, okay? Now there are two types of chiller, the water cooled and the air cooled. Now this is air cooled, okay? As you can see, there are condenser pan on the top of each chillers, okay? Now for the chillers, we have the uh, supply and the return line, okay? Now in the return line, okay? I have here my main butterfly valve, okay? So this valve is open and closed, okay? So if you want, uh, first you need to open the valve, let's say like this chiller one, you need to open the valve first before this chiller will uh, work. And of course, there should be a primary pump working along with the chiller, okay? Now, so nine chillers, air cold chillers, then another component is the primary pumps. Now primary pumps, I have also nine primary pumps, okay? Now, uh, what is the purpose of these primary pumps? These primary pumps are the one sucking all the chilled water supplied in the load side, okay? As you can see here, I have load side in my main hotel, okay? From basement to roof level, okay? or the mechanical floor level, okay? So as you can see here, I have here these buttons. If you want to go specifically to this air handling AHU24, you need to click this, then it will bring you to the AHU24 BMS graphics, okay? Now, I have also here some load in my uh, Thai restaurant, okay? Thai restaurant, and I have here AHU25 also. This is likewise serving Thai restaurant or yes, Thai restaurant, okay? Now H26, I guess this one is, or H25, I think this one is uh, serving the uh, mechanical room 
okay then i have some fcu there okay now here okay so chillers then primary pumps now the last basic component is the secondary pumps okay now here i have four secondary pumps in the main building or the, the main hotel okay now uh, as you can see the piping is uh, divided into two one uh, three and four okay as you can see here uh, three and four will supply uh, the high zone area okay so from i guess this is level two to level six or to the level eight uh, the machine control room or the uh, mechanical rooms okay where you can find most of my air handling units okay then uh, another set of secondary pumps secondary pump five and six will uh, supply chilled water to low zone area so from basement to i guess this one is up to uh, maybe second floor or level one okay so three basic components chillers primary pumps and secondary pumps okay now uh, let's talk about these chillers now these chillers are uh, <coughs> being controlled and monitored by a chiller plant manager okay actually this is a train chillers okay now if uh, you have a big chilled water system you need to uh, hire their services for the chiller plant manager okay when you say chiller plant manager chiller plant manager will be the one to control the operation of the secondary pumps primary pumps and the chillers okay they have a very good uh, software that will sequence all these chillers and the primary pumps and the secondary pump okay so the main task of building management system here is to do the third party software integration now what is third party software integration when you say uh, software integration you need only one communication cable going to their uh, chiller plant manager bdc panels okay so what i did here is just to pull one communication cable that that cable is um, i think that is a uh, bucknet mstp okay so from their system no, I think that was a uh, backnet over IP. Okay, so what I did, just connect one CAT6 cable to their main panel, then another, then pull the other end of that CAT6 cable to the BMS works uh, rack. Okay, so from their rack, uh, from my BMS rack, I pulled one CAT6 cable. Now I guess uh, this is not CAT6 cable because my BMS room is in the basement of the hotel. So I think what I did here is pull one uh, fiber optic cable. Okay, so fiber optic cable from my BMS rack going to the switch near the uh, DDC of their CPM. Okay, so I have their one media converter. So one media converter here from their uh, CPM DDC and one media converter in my BMS rack so that I can be able to get all this information. So what are the information from the chillers? I will be able to get what is the entering temperature and what is the leaving temperature in each chiller. Okay. Then I can get also the status of all these butterfly bars. Okay. Now, so in chillers, I have two temperature sensors. Okay. For entering and leaving temperature sensor. Then I also have their one flow switch okay so as you know flow is very important in a chiller so that it will not trip because if there is no flow your chiller will always trip okay so i have one uh, flow switch here another flow switch here also oh, each chiller there is one flow switch then two temperature or immersion type temperature to monitor the entering and leaving water temperature then the control for this open and close valve okay then uh, this butterfly bulb will open first before the chiller will run so that's to establish the chilled water flow okay so these are the chillers then i have here the main uh, entering temperature that is 
as a, as a, it is showing now 11.8 then the living water temperature in the main header is 6.5 so from the return line it will be 11 okay then in the main living water temperature is 6.5 okay now as you can see here i have also here air separator okay this air separator will try to remove the air from the piping because air will try to give some problem in your pumps and uh, piping okay now for the pump it can create cavitation in your impellers or in your casing now i have here also two expansion tank now expansion tank uh, this one will handle the sudden rise of pressure and decrease of pressure okay so i have also here two chemical dosing okay so i have the chemical dosing pump here that will continuously inject chemicals to always make sure that the water is well treated okay now uh, so those are the primary pumps uh, chemical dosing then this uh, expansion tank and air separator now i have also here two small secondary pump that will cater or supply chilled water for this air handling unit hu25 and the fcus and the hu26 okay now uh, then in the main hotel i have here four uh, <clears throat> secondary pump now these secondary pumps are controlled by variable frequency drive okay because uh, based on the load or load requirement or chilled water requirement in the air handling units, this uh, secondary pump will try to adjust the speed. Okay, let's say in the winter time, maybe very less chilled water is needed to cool the area. So most of the bulb will uh, close. Now, actually, these bulbs are three way bulb. Now, I have a three way bulb here uh, this ERU, EFAU. ERU, EFAU, some bulbs are not three way, okay? Two port only, okay? Now, uh, based on the differential pressure that I am installing uh, across the, what you call this, across the supply and return line, my secondary pump will try to adjust its speed, okay? So in order to control the speed of this secondary pump, you need to install a differential pressure sensors across the supply and return line, main supply and return line of your chilled water supply, okay? So those differential pressure transmitter will be the one to control the speed of the pump through the variable frequency drive, okay? So here I have also here some monitoring points for the chillers okay so we have here chilled water supply temperature so what is the chilled water supply from the main supply line so as you can see i have there 6.5 now chilled water supply as i said it will go to 5 point something to 6.5 okay but basically they will try to supply around 5 to 6 degrees centigrade chilled water okay now we expect that the return water temperature will be around 11. So five and six, there is a delta T of six degrees, okay? Now bypass temperature, I have also a bypass line here. This is the bypass line, okay? Now the bypass line during uh, winter season, some of the water will just bypassing, meaning instead of going to the load side, it will just go back to the uh, primary side, okay? or in the primary pumps okay now i have also here chiller return temperature okay this, so this is the main chiller return temperature here because in every chiller you have uh, entering temperature entering temperature okay now if you will see some question mark here meaning the temperature sensor is not communicating or it is out of service okay now what else then we have here the control and feedback for the primary pumps Likewise here also. So these are the uh, differential pressure reading that is controlling the secondary pump. Okay. Then I have also here the chilled water run capacity. Okay. So I am also displaying the capacity of each chiller. Okay. Now I like this one. One chiller is only running 
I guess this one is taken during the winter season. As you can see, the chilled water supply is around 6.48. Then the return uh, chilled water is 11.82. Okay, so only one chiller is enough to provide cooling for all the building load. Okay, or it is capable of supplying the necessary chilled water temperature to all the air handling unit and fan coil units. Okay. Now, uh, during the peak season, I guess there are around four to five chillers will try to uh, <clears throat> cool the chilled water. Okay. Now, I guess when I was there during summertime, I noticed that there are around four to five chillers working. Okay. Now, these chillers are sequencing. Okay. So you will be able to see that these chillers will try to. Uh, equalize all the run hours for each chiller. Okay, so that is the engineering practice to provide equal wear and tear for each chiller. Now, in the chiller plant manager, you can always put uh, a chiller in out of operation so that it will not be included in the sequence, especially if the maintenance people will do some uh, maintenance work or like cleaning the condenser uh, fins of these air cold chillers, okay? So chillers, primary pumps, secondary pumps, secondary pumps, and the, the cooling load, okay? For the air handling unit. Now, when I'm doing the BMS, or when I'm preparing the graphics, I'm always uh, taking in consideration the after uh, or the up there, if you are just like selling something up there, sales support, or I'm always thinking the facility management. Now, if you are the engineer of this uh, hotel, by having this kind of riser diagram, okay, you will be having a clear picture of what is going on with your chilled water system. So you will just sit in front of the computer, open these uh, graphics, you will be able to see what are the status of my air handling units, okay? So you will see here, this pump prime, uh, secondary pumps are animated. You will see if it is running because it is animated. Then you will see, as you can see here, I provided all these uh, green buttons or green uh, like circle. This one will indicate that the air handling unit is working fine or there is no uh, alarm in the air handling unit, then you will be able to see what is the uh, to, uh, what is the air uh, temperature, air supply temperature of the air handling unit being delivered to the area being served by its uh, air handling unit. As you can see here, I have 20, 20, 19.9, 20, okay, 18. Okay, now as you can see here, okay, that is based on the set point or the requirement in each air handling unit, okay? So you can see here, you will be able to see in just one glance, you will be able to know if your chilled water system is working fine, okay? So air handling units, you have a clear picture of it, what is going on. Then I have provided one button. If you want to go, let's say you notice, okay, this AHU 12, why there is a red here? Meaning this one might be running in manual mode, so you can go and click this H12 button, then it will bring you to the main H12 graphics. Then you will be able to see why, why uh, it is in red, like this one H11. Okay. So I think these two units are running in manual. Okay. So you will be always having some idea what is going on with my system. If the BMS engineer like me is preparing something that will help the facility management understand the chilled water system or the HVAC system, okay? Now in the chillers, you will be able to see, okay, how many chillers running? Okay, I have one chiller. What is the capacity of the chiller? That is around 65.6%, okay? Then you will be able to see what is the chilled water from the main supply line of my chillers, 6.5. Then the return line is 11. As you can see here, the uh, return temperature from the load side is 11.8. So, Everything, all of the information are being provided here in this one BMS graphics, okay? So this is how I'm thinking the facility management. 
Now, here, if you want to go to uh, to see more specific details of chiller, you can go to this chiller uh, button, then it will bring you to the chiller graphics. Then, I, likewise, I have primary pumps uh, uh, button here. If you click this, it will bring you to the main primary pump BMS graphics where it will show you the more comprehensive detail like uh, what is the run hours, then some other information, basic information that the BMS will display in a uh, primary pumps graphics. Also, if you want to go to the secondary pumps BMS graphics, you can just click this uh, navigation button. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I have also some uh, navigation menu here. Okay. Level 5 and 8 ERU. Okay. Level 1 to 5 AHU, level 8 AHU. So if you want to see the summary of all the AHU and level 8, then you can go to that page. And level 1 to 5 AHU, you can go to that page also. So meaning uh, this graphics is a very useful to the maintenance engineer or the chief engineer of a project. Okay, so this is Santos Capillan Junior way of preparing a BMS graphic that will help the facility management. Okay, now uh, again, uh, actually, uh, I guess I already given you a clear picture of what this BMS graphics is doing. Okay, so this graphics will offer to the maintenance engineer or to the BMS operator, what exactly is happening in the chilled water system of a certain project, okay? Now, I guess, and I hope uh, for the new engineer, mechanical engineer, I have given you a clear picture of an HBAC system riser diagram. Okay, so for future BMS engineer, uh, <clears throat> welcome to this uh, engineering field. And you can always leave a comment, ask question. And again, uh, I'm not uh, claiming any expertise here. I'm just trying to share my uh, knowledge and experience when I was working in the Middle East uh, as a BMS engineer, okay? So once again, uh, thank you very much. And Santos Capillan Jr. is always saying God bless us all and bye for now.